Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Ashima Yadav with us and we are going to listen her story, her journey of learning English. So Ashima Yadav, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, hello guys, I am Dr. Ashima Yadav. I am from Chinwara, Madhya Pradesh. Currently, I am doing Master of Public Health for Social Epidemiology uh, from TISS, uh, Mumbai. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ashima. So, on my channel, I share stories related to English learning. So, I am going to ask you some questions related to your journey, your difficulties and what you do for your English. Okay, so my first question is for you. How you started your journey of learning English and when? I am started to my English journey very long time okay. ago because um, I am passionate about English. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am um, pursuing my um, graduation for my graduation degree in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. So 2014 maybe, 2014 I started my English journey because I am a um, Hindi medium school um, student. Okay. So when I am going to Bhopal mm -hmm. and I have started my graduation, so everything is English. So I am very worried about, first time I show my book and I am very scared ki how to manage, how to learn, how to understand. Uh, I am, I am that my first day, I remember, never I am... Um, okay. uh, I'm, I'm damn sure <laughs> that every viewer can relate with her, like... It happens with every single one, right? Because um, college, my college yeah, first I day, and one of my professor um, asked me one question, very simple question, okay. or um, it's English, okay. or I know. And you got blank that time. I'm getting totally yeah. blank, and I'm starting to how to I'm. Um, uh, take this course, how do I prepare yes. myself and how do I manage this, this thing so um, I'm very worried about my English and my career also because I'm a, a small village girl okay. or I'm not a I'm the ordinary girl not a hash, okay, okay. so um, that's why I'm, I'm telling my um, family I join English um, coaching. So I'm joining my English coaching uh, for speaking. Then, but uh, I'm not a very long time learning because my um, syllabus burden is so um, like a fifth, six subjects and everything in English mm -hmm. and another coachings and class um, uh, college class schedule is nine to five o'clock, five to six, seven is. Uh, coaching so that's why not very much time I spend in English okay. so when I'm time I'm then my coaching okay so the next question is what are the difficulties that you are facing even now after your starting your journey of learning English that the difficulties that you are facing even now uh, one of my difficulties is the fear about people Mm -hmm. because I know some vocabulary, some sentence, how to make it uh, some sentence and whenever this thing is uh, how to told me ki uh, kya hai. Yeah, yeah. so that's why I'm fair about some words, some vocabulary sometimes I'm also fair about grammar mm -hmm. and public speaking yeah. like someone is very good English and I am an average English I I'm fair about it ki um, how to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing. It also happens with yeah. everyone. Yeah. So the next question is: Are you comfortable speaking in public? Uh, this time I'm little bit managed <laughs> okay. because I'm learning uh, so many things. Uh, trying, trying yeah. because um, some podcast, some book reading, and also some other um, mm -hmm. platform I'm using improve my English and sometimes I'm talking to my friends mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm watching I'm a movie lover so I'm watching in movie in English because uh, um, some time ago I'm watching in Hindi because I love Marvel movies I love Harry Potter wow. Captain Jack Sparrow Marvel is all series and I'm watching in Marvel Twilight is one of my favorite movie so I'm this kind of movie I'm watching in Hindi but recently I'm watching in English and 
per day I'm one and two um, listen podcast and any of thing whenever I um, get free. Um, feel free and whenever I um, got a chance I'm definitely doing that's that's really really good that you are doing this so that was the my first uh, next question that what do you do on daily basis for your english mm-hmm. and that you told already <laughs> okay so the next question is any embarrassing moment in your life ever happen with you uh, especially when it comes to speak in english in public or anywhere uh embarrassing to to me ki literally i told the my yes. first uh, my first mm-hmm. day in my graduation mm-hmm. and this day ma'am simple one question asked ki okay. different between vein and artery okay. so i am blank because hindi dhamni and sira mm-hmm. or every tolt when this question is definitely come mm-hmm. and i am uh, uh, wrote about it my uh, exam tolt exam but when uh, my teacher Just asked speaking yeah so this is matlab khali uh, this is english word and this is hindi word mm-hmm. and when and zira i know about it but dhamni and zira i know about it to mm-hmm. so, first i am embracing very badly ki what is this i know about dhamni and zira i know about when and artery so this is so embarrassing of my life or sometime one of good teacher told ki uh, ask me any question to that time i am also embarrassing feel ki yaar um, mujhe ye puchna tha and then um you always feel like, like i have like a question shan. but how can i ask okay it also happens with everyone yeah. okay so yeah the next question is how to approach people when it comes to speak in english in public how do you approach people first of all इस टेनिंग की हिम्मत दिखाओ यार हो सकता है सिंपल बिकॉज माई जर्नी इज नॉट अ इजी जर्नी आई एम अलेज गर्ल आई एम अ फर्स्ट गर्ल आई एम अ फर्स्ट गर्ल यू बी कमिंग इन कम इन मुंबई एंड डूइंग माई मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ सोशल इपिडोर्मोलॉजी सो दिस इज नॉट इजी नॉट अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट मैनी ऑफ पीपल आर um journey is difficult yeah. so but of uh, i am also my journey is not a very difficult little bit difficult but yeah also difficult because english is a daily to need mm-hmm. everyone talk about english everyone know english or whenever good book also available in english yeah good professor lectures good researcher because i am doing currently my uh, research and dissertation uh-huh. everything is available in english so i'm just um, i'm just telling ki bas thoda himmat dikhane ka hai and daily basis practice first of all your grammar mm-hmm. your basic is strong first of all grammar and little word to word daily life word ki this is a water and this is pencil box and something daily daily uses uh, things are you know about it ki isko english mein kya bolte hain exactly a watch yeah. so this is small small thing Mm-hmm. but what i think like our mind knows everything okay yeah. we learn every day yeah but when it comes to approach somebody when it comes to talk to somebody then we go blank yeah. so that mm-hmm. was the question like how okay mm-hmm. so now the next question is what are the method that you follow to become fluent in english like you speak mm-hmm. but what are the method that you are following to become fluent uh, first of all i'm listening people then okay. i'm trying to some vocab key some difficult words on mm-hmm. note down mm-hmm. and repeat it again how to uh, in, implement in this vocabulary and most of them very um, matlab ki fluently so i'm used to listening and talking okay yeah yeah, yeah talking is the main part main of part speaking of talking. Mm-hmm. you need to start speaking in english yeah, yeah. that is really nice mm-hmm. so the next question is according to you mm-hmm. vocabulary plays an important role in spoken english vocabulary vocabulary not uh, every time but this vocabulary is also average vocabulary average vocabulary he some some mm-hmm. vocabulary like uh, like different different kind of vocabulary business vocabulary is different yeah. health vocabulary is different yeah. engineering vocabulary is uh, different exactly. motivational is different so yeah. some of the basic vocabulary you have 
yeah mm -hmm. so you mean it is important part of yeah mm. yeah i agree with you mm. so the next question is do you have a fear of speaking in english fear <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> i can understand that everyone can relate with <laughs> her totally yeah okay so the next is why english is so important in your life why you feel like english is really uh, plays a vital role in my life um Uh, see, uh, I am a public health student now, okay, yeah. and also I am a doctor. Mm -hmm. So whenever I am going and professional teacher and professional person, now within this country and this state, our another country. Mm -hmm. One of uh, my alumni is uh, from another country. So whenever I am talking to like working place, everyone is professional. Everyone is talking in English, mm -hmm. and I am also passionate about English. English not a my need. This is my passion. This is my the yeah. dream, dream kind of thing. And it's a global language. Yeah, so need it's a global language because public health is a pure globally. Yeah. Whenever I go in job, so English is very important. Mm -hmm. Not a professional, not a job perspective, and communication. Yeah, yeah. Communication is even. A, i i what i feel even you are not going for a job or anything but you need to learn because your child your children will definitely be there in yeah. english medium yeah. so yeah so that's why i think english is really really plays yeah. a vital role in everyone's life yeah. so this is the episode number 1 with ashima yadav and i'm so happy that i i am doing this now and if you are guys want to talk to me and want to share your story with me you can mail me i will put my email id in description box and as well as it is in my about box okay so yeah thank you so much thank you ashima for being thank here thank you thank so you. much for inviting <laughs> i'm so thankful and so grateful because this is my uh, second year third interview okay so that's why i'm so happy